In a world ruled by time, water defies it. While submerged, sensory deprivation is a big part of your experience. Your hearing is confusing, your eyes deceive you, and your lips are overwhelmed by the taste of salt. Time passes differently underwater. Perhaps just because you're usually on vacation in that situation, or perhaps because everything around you is different, like gravity rebelling and fish running around like they're busy workers on a Monday, and your other boss chasing them around the office. The Aegean Sea, located between Greece and Turkey, is also nicknamed the White Sea in some South Slavic languages. It is said that the sea was named after the Greek town of Aegea. Another derivation may be possible from the Greek word Aege, means ways. Salt is the biggest personality trait, about 39% of it, compared to the Dead Sea at 34% and the Mediterranean Sea at 35%. And now for some fun facts. Sea life in the Aegean Sea includes seals, dolphins, whales and sea turtles, and one fisherman reported seeing a great white shark a few decades ago. The jellyfish, scorpionfish and crocodiles are more dangerous than sharks in the waters of the Aegean Sea. The maximum depth of the Aegean Sea is at the eastern side of Crete, where it reaches 3,543 meters, 11,624 feet, below the sea surface. Plato has referred to all the Greeks who were living on the islands in the Aegean Sea like frogs around a pond in his book Phaedo. The Hermit Crab, eh? Well, I highly doubt that the name is appropriate since there are so many of them not too far away from each other. The borrowed shell differs from one crab to another, as unique as a human fingerprint. When an individual crab finds an empty shell, it will leave its own home and inspect the vacant shell for the number of rooms because it might want two bathrooms, but not a huge villa for its tiny soul. If the shell is found to be too large, the crab goes back home and then waits by the vacant shell for up to eight hours. As new crabs arrive, they also inspect the shell and, if it is too big, wait for the others, forming a group of up to 20 individuals holding on to each other in a line from the largest to the smallest crab. Kind of reminds me of Peaky Quest. As soon as a crab arrives that is the right size for the vacant shell and claims it, leaving its own shell vacant, then all the crabs in the queue swiftly exchange shells in sequence, each one moving up to the next size. Wow, that's a really nice system. The name urchin is an old word for hedgehog. Very cute, I know, which sea urchins resemble. That's why they have archaically been called sea hedgehogs. A folk tradition in Denmark and southern England imagines sea urchin fossils to be thunderbolts, able to ward off harm by lightning or by witchcraft. Another version supposed they are petrified eggs of snakes, able to protect against heart and liver disease poisons and injury in battle, and accordingly, they were carried as amulets. I wonder how they carry them must have been very difficult. As for now, the sun is growing too strong, so I shall go back inside until it finishes its temper tantrum. <laughs>